All right, this is Stripe Hotel. Okay, so now I'm going to test run the genset. So before we test run the genset, we're going to check the parameters. All right. This is the battery. It's okay. However, the negative terminal have some oxidized on the battery. All right. Okay, this is the diesel fuel level. The current level is here. Let's check the engine oil level. Engine oil level, okay. Pump a few times to release the airlock. Okay. No leakage of uh, fuel, no leakage of radiator water, and no leakage of engine oil. Alright, let's check the engine. Oh, sorry. Radiator water level. It's a conservator tank. Okay, no issue. Coolant, okay. Available. We're going to check the battery reading. Twenty-eight volt DC. All right, we're going to test run the genset from the ATS panel. Everything will run based on auto mode. Okay, this is the LV room. Let me get the jumper wire. Okay, this is the ATS panel for the Stripe Hotel. I'm going to jump the terminal to allow the genset to start automatically and then release it to allow it to stop automatically okay the genset has started okay we're going to have a look at the genset Stop automatically. 
And the most important thing is I have successfully tested the genset with remote uh, remotely from the ATS panel. Most importantly from this test is uh, using the simplified method to test the genset remotely from the ATS panel and to make sure the genset is able to start and to stop automatically and also the voltage is okay 415, 240 and also the 50 Hz is available and the speed is stable which is 1500 rpm this is the most important thing to test the genset under off-road condition you don't need to test the genset for 30 minutes or one hour and some more uh, is not recommended to test the genset for more than 30 minutes or 10 minutes under no load condition because it will cost a lot of unburned fuel all right thanks for watching goodbye